Hello, and welcome to Paddle, an overview. Brought to you by To Cure Effect. A paddle is a handheld tool with an elongated handle and a flat, widened distal end, i.e., the blade, used as a lever to apply force onto the bladed end. It most commonly describes a completely handheld tool used to propel a human powered weight craft by pushing water in a direction opposite to the direction of travel, i.e., paddling. It is different to an oar which is similar in shape and performs the same function via rowing in that the latter is attached to the weight craft via fulcrum. However, the term paddle can also be used to describe objects of similar shapes or functions. A rotating set of paddle boards known as a paddle wheel is used to propel a steamboat i.e. paddle steamer. A number of games e.g. ping pong, a paddle or bat is a small racket used to strike a ball. A mixing paddle is an agitated device used to stir and more thoroughly mix separate ingredients within a mixture. A spanking paddle is used in corporal punishment, typically to forcefully hit someone e.g. a juvenile on the buttocks. Canoe and kite paddles Materials and designs Paddles commonly used in canoes consist of a wooden, fibreglass, carbon fiber, or metal rod the shaft with a handle on one end and a rigid sheet the blade on the other end. Paddles for use in kayaks are longer, with a blade on each end, they are handled from the middle of the shaft. Kite paddles having blades in the same plane when viewed down the shaft are cold and feathered. Paddles with blades in different planes are called feathered. Feathered paddles are measured by the degree of feather, such as 30, 45, or even 90 degrees. Many modern paddles are made of two pieces which can be snapped together in either feathered or unfeathered settings. The shaft is normally straight but in some cases a crank is added with the aim of making the paddle more comfortable and reducing strain on the wrist. Because the kayak paddle is not supported by the boat, paddles made of lighter materials are desired. It is not uncommon for a kayak paddle to be 2 pounds 32 ounces 910 grams or less and very expensive paddles can be as light as 22 ounces 620 grams. Weight savings are more desirable at the ends of the paddle rather than in the middle. Cheaper kayak paddles have an aluminium shaft while more expensive ones use a lighter fibreglass or carbon fiber shaft. Some paddles have a smaller diameter shaft for people with smaller hands. Paddle length varies with a longer paddle being better suited for stronger people, taller people, and people using the paddle in a wider kayak. Some paddle makers have an online paddle size calculator. Blades vary in size and shape. A blade with a larger surface area may be desirable for a strong person with good shoulder joints, but tiring for a weaker person or a person with less than perfect shoulder joints. Because normal paddling involves alternately dipping and raising the paddle blades, the color of the blades may affect the visibility of the kite to powerboat operators under limited visibility conditions. For this reason white or yellow blades may offer a safety advantage over black or blue blades. Of course, kikers should wear a headlamp or have other lighting on their kike under conditions of limited lighting. However, if a powerboat operator must look straight into a sun low in the sky to see a kiker, the motion of brightly colored paddle blades may be of more value than lighting on the kayak. Highly reflective water-resistant tape e.g. SOLS tape may be affixed to the paddle blades and bow to enhance visibility. Use The paddle is held with two hands, some distance apart from each other. For a normal use, it is drawn through the water from front boat to back stern to drive the boat forwards. The two blades of a kayak paddle are dipped alternately on either side of the kayak. A paddle is distinguished from an oar in that the paddle is held in the user's hands and completely supported by the paddler, whereas an oar is primarily supported by the boat through the use of oarlocks. 
Gloves may be worn to prevent blistering for long periods of paddling. Other types On mechanical paddle steamers, the motorized paddling is not done with a mass of paddles or oars but by rotating one or a few paddle wheels rather the inverse of a water mill. Racing paddles also have special designs. They are generally less flat and are curved to catch more water which will enable racing paddlers to maximize the efficiency of their stroke. Wing-bladed paddles are very popular in kayak racing. A wing paddle looks like a spoon and acts like a wing or sail generating lift on the convex side, which pulls the paddle forward outward at the expense of overcoming drag. This gives additional forward thrust as compared with a flat paddle with forward thrust mainly from drag. Then jaff paddles, popular with tripping and marathon canners, have a blade that is angled from the shaft, usually 12 to 15 degrees. Thank you for watching our video on paddle, brought to you by De Curific. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.